understand the importance of what I am creating here. Our patience has expired. No! If you fire Helen, well, then you'll have to fire me. Me too. And me. You better bloody work. You're both playing real characters, yep. yeah. real people. Yep. One who is not a good guy. Well, mm. we'll discuss that. We'll discuss that. I think you're talking about uh, that. Yeah. And one who Do actually had, was actually historically a really important person, like in the history of, of the UK, and you don't really sort of get a sense of that in the movie. What did you guys sort of like? do for research? Did you care about the research? Was it all in the script? How important was that? I think, uh, I found it very important. How blase do you want to sound? There were books, I mean, Karen Cross had his own autobiography as well yeah. that I was able to read. Uh, I don't think that he was a bad guy, I think ultimately <laughs> he he was on the same side, he was trying to just, you know, he, he saw it differently, he saw uh, both both the British and the Russians trying to achieve the same goal. So he just I think he wouldn't have been information. implanted by MI6 in there if that's the actually they didn't have a higher reasoning and a higher you know, idea that actually it's a good thing to share some information with our Indeed. allies. Yeah. It wasn't like that, because some people would think that the Russians were not on our side, but they very much were. Hmm. And thank God for that, because Stalin, that was an absolute nightmare. The script itself, when you yeah. guys got it, yeah. uh, you, sir, have, are well known to so many people across the world for your work in Downton Abbey. Did you look at it for a second and go, I know this is amazing, but I just don't want to do another period piece? Like, no, did, I, they, I, did it I, pop I in your really head? I never really see work like that at the end of the day. <laughs> I see it as an opportunity. You know, it's an incredible story to tell. Yeah. Graham Moore wrote an amazing script. And when I heard you know, who was attached, even though Matthew Good was, I still thought it would be an interesting project. <laughs> still going both. Yeah. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> so, uh, I, no, I, I didn't really see the fact that it was a period piece. I do like the fact that, you know, it's 1940s. The next one I'm going to do is the 60s, 70s, and then eventually I'll come into modern day. I'm very excited about that. That's yeah. really exciting. In every which way that that sentence was described. Yeah. With a bang. Boom. With, yeah, with nice. a bang. Do you guys have, obviously, we can tell right here, great camaraderie. You guys are having a great time. This is some of the best acting you've ever seen, my friend. With, with <laughs> so many scenes with, with, with you guys working on this stuff, working with Benedict and, and Kira as well. Did you guys have a great time on set? Was it one of those like fun productions yeah. that you guys look back at and go like, oh, for a it small was great. It was, it was really yeah. great, and it was great offset too. And we were, we, 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 I, I just had, a, I just had my second. Why well, I say I, my wife, my wife, I just had our second child. At that point, she wasn't my wife. Long story. <laughs> you, you, and I was exhausted. I was exhausted, was exhausted, exhausted when we were filming. But I was, no, the day, the, the day, the, my last day of the previous film, That's I right. much I'm not going to talk about, but we should talk about that another time, it's really fun. Anyway, <laughs> most important so he was tired the whole time. You've got one minute left and we're wasting precious no, time. No, it's okay, so, so you were exhausted. Ready. You know, we never hear this. We never hear of actors saying, I was actually really tired because I I'm a real person or, yeah. and I had okay. a baby. You know and actors, actors strangely get told by their wives, where are you going? Go and get a milk. Wake up! <laughs> <laughs> And you go, you know, and strangely, we do that because our wives, our wives own us, okay? And also they're right, and they've just pushed out a child. It's very difficult to say to a woman, I'm actually not going to do that because I'm an actor and I'm really tired <laughs> and I'm working hard. She kill you. Yeah. And you have to be on set at 6 a.m. There you are. Um, yeah, so if you do your stuff and then you get to the next, and then thankfully I get Alan on the other end going, you know, everything's going to be great. Wake up! <laughs> <laughs> Coffee and some eggs. Yeah. Thank you so much. Bingo. For breaking entertainment news and more, follow at HitFix on Twitter or visit HitFix.com.